Hey, so today I'm going to talk about uh, two uh, science fiction stories that involve a, a Dyson Sphere. And um, I talked about this way back in uh, the, my fourth episode. Um, the story idea that is titled uh, Two Men Sitting at a Table. Lady. Lady. Uh, two men sitting at a table. Um, so, <clears throat> here we go. And once again, I'm just going to read you straight from what I've written. Uh, you have a Dyson sphere around a huge star. It's placed at the correct distance away from the star, so the gravity is about that of Earth. In time, space dust will cover the surface um, several miles thick, enough to keep the surface warm. There is no sun in the sky. It's always dark, um, always night. The stars are always visible. Heat comes from the ground. Uh, ice comets would smash quite a bit because of the strong gravity of the star. Life evolves to use heat from the ground instead of a light source. Now, if you don't know any of this evolved from the ground. <clears throat> now, if you didn't know any of this, uh, you would evolve from the ground, you would think that you were on flat ground, as if it went on forever in every direction, because the sphere would be huge. Um, what if something did crash through it and cause a hole? You would look down and see that the, you would look down and see the sun for the first time. Uh, what mythology would you come up with to explain all of this? The, the mouth of hell? Um, <clears throat> Uh, maybe a ship crashed there, and after a few generations, they didn't know their true origins of where they came from. And so they would mix truth with mythology about their ancestors being from the stars. Um, so that's that's one I thought was pretty cool. Um, another uh, Dyson Sphere idea is uh, you have a huge gravity well within... <clears throat> You have a huge gravity well within a star or black hole. A probe grows to investigate it. Um, it crashes on a Dyson sphere. It radios home before it dies. Humans need to investigate it more closely. Um, the radius is about 21 AU. Uh, 1 AU is the distance of Earth from the sun. So 21 would be pretty, <clears throat> would be extremely large. Um, the Dyson Sphere itself is only about 20 stories deep, which is, relatively speaking, pretty thin, con considering you have this big old huge sphere around a very large star, and if it's only 20 or 30 stories thick, um, it's, it's um, pretty thin. <clears throat> a door at the bottom shows a red giant. If the structure is absorbing all the photons from the star, it has to be storing them up somewhere or the structure would be glowing with e EMR. Um, the sphere is unmanned, but it does have AI. It scans the skies and finds planets with civilization and then uses the energy stored up to send a gamma burst or laser to destroy it. Uh, sort of thinking sort of like the Death Star type of, type of thing. Um, it knows that man has landed on its surface and it's not worried about them. Uh, they will go in through a few unopened doors and then once they close, they'll be trapped in there forever. So the, uh, the initial humans there won't be able to get out. Uh, the sphere itself will review the path that humans use to get to, to find the planet and then, um, uh, it will then re, um, figure out where Earth is, and then destroy Earth as well. So I just thought that that was a, uh, that was a pretty cool idea. <clears throat>